That's a creolama. That's a creolama, yeah. Weird. Look at the side cusps. Look at that root. Pretty much unscathed. All right, folks, I do believe it's loose here. The moment of truth. Let's see it. Oh. Oh. oh my. Yes. No. Already, within the first five minutes, got our first tooth here. Not bad. That's a nice one. Really pretty, man. Yes, sir. All right, folks, we got a fairly large goblin tooth sticking out of the wall here. You can see that the root is partially broken off. But we're going to see what the rest of this tooth is looking like. Oh, yeah, look at that. that right there. Not bad. That's a good sized one, too, for the first goblin of the day. That's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit of the root, but Sad overall, that it's we will take it. There. Not bad, buddy. Yes, sir. Just found myself a nice blade sticking out of the wall right here. Taking that out. It looks like a nice one. Ooh. Now let's wash this off. Just a blade, unfortunately. It looks like a goblin shark. So it is a sad day. It is a sad day indeed. It's a sad day. We'll keep looking. So just a few feet to the right of where we found that goblin tooth sticking out. I've got a vertebrae right here. Looks like a fish vertebrae of some kind. No, it broke. Those vertebrae are just so. Well, yep, there it goes. I'm not sure what it is. What is it? I don't know what it is, buddy. It might be a root that I'm looking at. I'm not sure. I don't know. But yeah, these these vertebrae out here are so fragile. They just shatter as oh, soon as you try to grab them. It is. Big goblin, uh oh, uh oh, we gotta get over there. Caleb's freaking out over here. He says he found a good goblin. This may be the biggest whole goblin tooth I've ever found. <laughs> which sick. I haven't been doing this for very long. Right. And I found some pretty gigantic, like size of my finger broken ones. But this one's root is very large and intact, which is giving me a lot of hope right now. It is just very deep in there. With a very oh, big root, means there's a very big blade <laughs> and so yes, i'm gonna be sir. digging for quite a second if i don't want to damage it literally right next to the one that caleb's digging out right there tiny blade sticking out of the wall it's <laughs> like another goblin it's wild. look how thick this tooth is like i don't know you can't really tell that is crazy don't, don't break it don't break it for reference we didn't bring a banana we did not bring a banana for scale. Maybe next time. All right, folks, I do believe it's loose here. The moment of truth. Let's see Is it. it. Oh. oh. Oh my. Yes. No. No you way. Beautiful. Wash it off. You have to wash it off. But out of the wall, by far the biggest one I pulled from the wall. Bro. Compared to one of my fingers here. Dude. My longest finger, it covers Hold on, let me get a close up. A little over half, like three fourths here. That is of crazy. My finger. Imagine what it's gonna look like after it dries. That's a big shark. That's a big shark. That's a big shark. So it's our first time ever trying to cross the or the creek here. I've heard people have found ammonites and stuff over here, so we'll see what we get. Let's do it. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. And now we look. There's imprints of stuff here. So we've made it to the other side of the river, or the creek here. It was a very perilous journey getting over here. We almost died multiple times, Caleb. Caleb did die. I did die. But he's back now. Yeah, I'm good. But just look at this out here. So much ground to cover. And over here is just nothing but shells. Just a massive shell layer. Like, look at this. All these white specks, all shells from the Cretaceous. Who knows, there could be anything in here. There could be ammonites and stuff like that, so. Look at the layers here, though. Huh. You're never gonna believe this. What? That? That's a dead bug. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dead bug, ooh. 
So exhibit A of just how well the preservation is at this site. Check these out down here. Those are echinoids. So think like, you know, relatives of sea urchins, like modern sea urchins and such. But they are everywhere out here. What's up, oh. Caleb? Catch it this time. It's not a bug. That, that might be belemnite. Keep this. Definitely keep this. So we're out here doing what we do best, just digging through gravel. Pull these few broken teeth here. I'm not sure what that bottom right one is. I'm just gonna hold on to that for now. But I'll just pull this one. That's so much bigger than the other ones. Like, check this out. Boom. Missing one root, or one part of the root, unfortunately. But I'm sure there is plenty of other stuff to be found out here. I, inside this hole, and in a pile of gravel, got a half decent, Squally Corax right there. Oh, wow. Look at the colors, dude. I think I see a blade. I wish I had some tweezers. Wait, Caleb, what do you mean half decent? Dude, that's a cool one. <laughs> I definitely see a blade in there. Give me something else. I see it. Yeah, broken blade. But I'm, I'm very happy with that Squally Corax. That's a nice one, dude. Sitting in the hole. Yes, sir. We got plenty more ground to cover, so let's hope we get something else. What? I might have a really, really big vert. Vert? I mean, like... Let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. It's glass, isn't it? It's glass. Cut that out of the video. I'm not cutting that out of the video. We're on the race to find any mosasaur or dinosaur or just anything teeth here. So down here, it gets down to the other wall that's across. I've never hunted this side before, down here. Caleb's singing back there, trying to copyright me. Ooh. Plenty of bullets. Part of me wants to check the wall, Part of me wants to check the gravel to see if anything's falling out of the wall. Oh wow. Look at that echinoid. That is a nice one. Really? Just nothing. No teeth so far. Oh well, I say that. Oh. Hello. It's barely missing a piece of the tip. Nice. I'll take that one. So you can't hardly even see it here. That right there is a part of a blade sticking out of the wall. Let's go ahead and dig that out. There it is. Ah, yep. That's literally all it was. Just a blade. Oh no! Y'all are not gonna believe this. Literally just seconds after I pulled that tooth from the wall. Look on the ground here. Look at that squally corax. Oh, it's whole. Look at the colors, dude. Heck yeah. They're literally just laying out here. They'll fall out of the wall here and they'll just be on the surface for who knows how long until somebody finds them. So I meant to tell y'all that besides me and Caleb back here, we brought some companions with us. We brought some dogs. <laughs> We've moved down a little bit. And right down here in this gravel pile, whoop, right there. Check this tooth out. Ooh. Another squally corax, not bad. It's a little worn, I'd say. It's got a lot of serrations though, that's nice. Awesome. And once again, squally corax has struck. Check that out right there. Move that rock. Bam. Not bad. A little worn on the root, but I will take it.
Now that, my friend, is a quality Snorlax. A quality Snorlax, yes, sir. So um, we're here doing what we do best, digging through dirt. Found me a nice piece of bone fragment. Could be from anything, really. I found that. That's an Encodus tooth. That is a saber-toothed herring, basically. That's the nickname for them. There's predatory fish. They have these wicked fangs all along the mouth. So, pretty cool find. That's the biggest one I found here, but just off the top. So, not bad. All right, y'all. Not sure if y'all can see it. See if you can find the tooth here. I bet you cannot. That right there. That there is a Tychotus tooth. Those were shell crushing sharks. So they had rows of these on top of the mouth. They used them for crushing things like ammonites and you know, giant clams, oysters, stuff like that. You can hardly tell that's what it is. It's just the shape that gives it away. It's really worn, but not bad. Not nearly as nice as the one we found last trip, which I'll put a picture up, but I will not complain there. That's the second one I found. That's really nice. All right, y'all. So we're out here looking for fossils and look who shows up. We got the wild Kyle here, another YouTuber. I'll put his uh, channel link down in the description, but it's just absolutely random chance. Right. <laughs> He's just passing through the state and here we are. Same site. Worked awesome. out good. Yes, it did. All right, guys, we got a good few teeth here. We're going to start with this one. Popped it right on out. Oh, baby goblin shark. I see it. It's Look. nice. Not bad. It's got all the root on it. All the root, yep. We've got this blade sticking out right here. We've got this one over here. So many teeth just busted. everywhere. We're gonna try to get this one out. I don't wanna break it. Don't force it. <laughs> You're busting that. I did that last time I was here. <laughs> I see some orange on that I tip. Know. That's That's nice. nice, man. Oh, uh, we are missing a little bit of root. I just broke oh. off the other <laughs> piece of the... <laughs> Nice. I believe that's a side cusp right there, too. Yeah, but we're missing the, the other one. Though. Nice orange nice. on the tip. It's like a... Yeah, we've got that stripe going down the middle. Mm -hmm. Sadly, I'm just going to toss that. There's not much you can do with that. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got the final tooth here. It's a pretty busted up goblin is what it looks like to me. There it goes. I see it. Yep. Yep. And it's just a shattering. Goblin. Little side cusp on the side there. All right, what's it looking like, Caleb? Pulled right on from underneath this rock here. Yep. Got a nice blade with a Looking real busted, busted up uh, root there, but then a really nice one Whoa. sitting down below it. Look at that. Surprisingly nice for sitting out on the rocks. Look at that root. Pretty much unscathed. And you got the tip, everything. Nice, dude. I want to find some good squally Corax out here. That's oh, my there's favorite. Plenty out here, I'm sure. Caleb's got another. Digging through these rocks. Oh, goblin right here. here. Nice. Oh no, that's a that's Creed that's a Creed Lama. Yeah. Weird. Look at the side cusps. It's really nice. Heck yeah. They're sitting in these rocks, man. They're usually right. real beat up. They're everywhere out here. All right, where's it at? I'm literally just looking everywhere in here, looking around and moving all this, and not scripted. Right there in that hole. You can can you see it there? If oh I wow. The light. You can see the shine Can't of it really right get there. Get my fingers in there. There it is. I need to. Ooh. Ooh. I think I see some good color on the tip there. Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on now. That is. Goblino. That's a really nice goblin. That's a lateral, I think. Nice. Right. Does it have that other side cusp? Yep. Nice. Point, point. Cool stuff, man. Pretty good stuff, buddy. Good stuff. All right. Sitting in this pile of sand and dirt, you can see a little blade sticking out. Yep. We're gonna get it at. Oh, oh. Oh, it just keeps going. Oh, it's longer than I thought. <laughs> it Whoa. seems somewhat loose, but I'm not pulling on it. Yeah, don't, don't chance it. <laughs> Ooh. I think it's loose enough. Moment of truth. Whoa, oh, man. It looked tiny in the wall and then just Side kept cusp. going. Side cusp. Oh, look at this the color. one looks really worn, though. But yeah, look, see that orange stripe right down yeah, the middle? Yeah, that's. Great, look at the shape of the root is wild on that the one. The all black blades are the best with that orange stripe. It just pops really well. 
nice. That's cool. Caleb's got himself a big blade here. Let's see it. So you look in here, right there, we got a little tooth, a little. And if you look that? over here, oh, it's a big a blade. Big old blade. But it looks cool. Well, it's not part of it. Oh, the colors! The co That's what I'm talking about right mm -hmm. there. That's the insane colors. And here we go. We got this little bitty one. I'll try not to bust it all up, but I got fat fingers. I hate this. <laughs> you got it? Come on. I can't grab it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got oh, it. You got it. <laughs> yes, sir. Nice. Another little that? cradle lamina. Yes, sir. Nice. Grab your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So it's been about two days since we finished up the hunt. Here's all the teeth laid out. Got some pretty good ones in here, not gonna lie. A lot more than we thought we had by the end of the trip. I'd say the find of the trip, actually there's two, is this goblin right here. Huge goblin tooth. Pulled it right from the wall, as you saw in the beginning of the video. Not bad. But also, this goblin here. Now this tooth, I believe, is a lower lateral. Just look at the crazy shape of the root there. You hardly ever find this tooth position. So to find one this big, mostly intact, that's a really nice one. Down here to the left, we got the Creta Lamna. A couple small ones, that anterior is really nice. Right there. And then up here we got our Squally Corax. These two by far are my favorites. Both are a little bit worn. As you can see on that right, that right one there, it's got a little bit of uh, enamel chipped off, but the colors on that left one are just insane. Like, look at that. And then over here to the left, got this here. That's the Tychotis tooth that I found. Like I said earlier, you can barely see, barely see that it's a Tychotis. I mean, the enamel's worn so much, it looks just, just like a piece of bone fragment we find out there. But it's got the right shape, and it's got the grooves on the surface there that tells us it's a Tychotis. Also got this here. It's a Encotis fang. Not bad. Probably the biggest one I've pulled there at that site just from the surface. Usually the Encotis teeth I find there are just in the micro gravel. And they're really small and usually broken, so. Got a shark vertebrae here. Pretty worn, but you can definitely tell it's shark just because of the shape. It's pretty just round and flat. Usually fish vertebrae are more elongated. Not bad, we find plenty of those there. Also, big shout out to the wild Kyle, the guy you saw earlier in the video. He ended up giving us these two fossils. These are calamites, so they were giant ferns that used to live millions and millions of years before the dinosaurs or any of these fossils really even you know appeared lived during the carboniferous period so so i think around 350 million years ago definitely way before any dinosaurs or anything like that that we're finding i'll be sure to put a link to his channel in the description down below so if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to like comment and subscribe it really helps me out a lot it tells me i should keep making more videos Thank you, guys.